hi everyone welcome back to the channel so this is the second video in the excel automation series let's see the agenda so today we are going to discuss about how do we write data in an excel sheet or in an workbook then we'll see how do we write the entire data and the filter data in an excel sheet after that we'll try to write data with or without formatting in an excel sheet and each of the steps we will try to demonstrate in the uipath studio okay so first step we come to your path studio so for this demo purpose i have already kept a sample excel in the project folder let's quickly open it okay i'll close this excel so now the first step to read the excel we have to go to the excel application scope so since excel is already installed on my machine i'll go with excel application scope i'll browse the excel so this is the excel and your path will take it okay i'll leave the settings to the default settings where i want to auto save the file and if the excel is not available i want to create a new file and i will take the visible option is true okay so now if you will see i'll quickly open the excel okay so i'll just delete this one so we have one sheet only one sheet available which is called the sheet one okay so the first thing we want to do is we have 701 rows the including headers so we will write the data from sheet 1 to the sheet 2 okay so how do we do that we quickly go to your path studio to write the data first thing we have to do is to read the data right so we go and hit the read range so now since we are using the excel application scope we will go by the excel and the read range okay so if i go to the read range properties so we have the range and the sheet name so the sheet we want to read is the sheet one so we leave it to default settings and for the range we want to read the complete range and the double quote means we want to read the complete range okay we want to add the headers so this option is true and we don't have any filter so how the first thing whenever we read the data we get the output in a data table so we'll store the output in a data table so there are two options first we can go in the variables and create a data table here like this or an easy way is to come here hit this one and hit control k right so when you select control k it will automatically select the variable so i'll just write dt complete dt okay so now what will happen is it will create a variable for me like this okay and it will select the type appropriately okay so control plus k is the shortcut okay so now we have read the data from the sheet one entire range and we are storing the data in the dt complete okay now let's quickly try to write the data now to write the data we have to select an activity called write range so now if you'll see there are two write range one is for the excel application scope and another is for the workbook so since we are inside working inside an application scope excel application scope so we will select this one app integration excel and write range okay so this works only inside the excel application scope so if i just drag it outside one outside the application scope you will get an error saying that this is activity is valid only inside the excel application scope so we will just drag it inside the excel application scope now the next question it will ask where which, where do you want to write the data so i will write the data in the sheet 2 so we have only sheet 1 so i will write the data in sheet 2 from where you want to write the data from the starting and what would be the data table it would be the dt complete dt the same data table which we have got here okay and we have read the headers also so while pasting the data this option is by default not checked if if this is not checked you won't get the headers so for our data we want the header so i will just check this one hit ctrl s and run the file so bot is executed now quickly go to the excel so now you will see we have received one more sheet sheet 2 which is the exact replica of sheet 1 okay so if you will see we have 701 rows exactly available right so this is how you read the complete data from sheet 1 to sheet 2 now if you will see for the column e right so this was 1618 and the format was in the rupees right so if i go here in the sheet 2 and e, in e we have lost the formatting right so how do we preserve the formatting so for that what we will do is we'll quickly come back here in the read range okay so there is an option of preserve format right so what preserve format 
to us this it preserves the format as displayed in the cell for the currency date etc right so while reading the data we have not clicked this cell that's why it has not preserved the formatting but as stated preserve formatting operation is quite slow so what we'll quickly do is we will just select the range from a1 to let's say j20 so what we are doing we are telling ui part to read the data from a1 from this cell to let's say j20 so this will include these cells also right so first thing we'll do is we'll quickly write the data in so we'll write this sheet as without format right and the format is not checked okay so the you so this preserve formatting is off okay so this will write in this cell right so what we'll do we'll quickly pull one more read range okay and now we'll read the same data from sheet one and we use preserve formatting right and then what we'll do is we will again write range the data in a different sheet which we call with format okay and while pasting the data right range we require the header right so while we read this data so we will call we have to store this in a different data table so we quickly go here control k and write dt without formats okay and when we write the data it would be dt without formats okay and when we read the data with the format so let's quickly cross check so when we are reading it is in dt complete dt and we are writing here dt complete dt so this is without format and with format whenever we are reading we are storing it in wf and this looks good okay so let's quickly go and run the program where path port is executing it's executed let's quickly go back so if you'll see we have read the data from the range a1 to j20 okay so this was the source sheet a1 to j20 now if you go to without formats you will see there none of the formats were selected because we have not selected but now if i go to the with format sheet you will see it was able to retain the formats right so the data which was available was in the form of currency so uipath preserve the formatting so there was a specific reason i just selected the uh, only a specific range but because if i select the entire range the execution would get slower now the question arises why preserve formatting is slow right so the answer to the question is because preserve formatting works one by one on each cell of each row so it is not reading the data in the bulk it will try to read the data one by one so when we select the preserve formatting the execution is slow so if you come to the official ui path website what they say selecting the preserve formatting is slower because once this checkbox is selected the cells are read one by one instead of reading in the bulk so now you would understand that why we have selected only a specific range so but if you have a requirement where you want to preserve the formatting go ahead and preserve the formatting so this is how you read the data from a specific range or if you want to read the complete range just clean this one okay so this was all about reading the data with the help of the excel application scope so we have seen reading the data in the excel application scope so i'll quickly delete everything from here and now we will read the data complete data in the form of dt complete i want to add the headers and now what we will do is we'll try to write this data with the help of the right range of the workbook okay so go here and write right range so now we'll not take this right range we will take the workbook right range okay so we will drag it after here right so the workbook path is where do you want to store the workbook so uh, we'll quickly point it to the same excel okay and then now the sheet name we want it as workbook okay and the data table is dt so we have to increase the scope of the data table right so if you will see the scope of the the name of the data table is dt complete dt if you go to the variables dt complete dt is only restricted till do right so we have to increase the scope to the sequence okay good practice just rename it to excel sequence okay now it will make sense 
so now what we have to do is we have to increase this one to the dt complete dt to the excel sequence okay now the data table will be available for us dt complete DT. now what would happen is the data would be read with the help of the excel application scope it will read the sheet one complete data in a data table called dt complete dt then it will come to the right range and this right range is the workbook right range and we want to add the headers okay and quickly save it right so since we are using a workbook activity here it won't work when the excel is open so we go ahead and close the excel we'll save this okay and let's try to run this okay so the process is executed completely let's quickly go back to the folder open the excel and you will see this was the source data and if i go to the workbook you will see this is the complete data right 701 rows right so so this is how you can use the right range activity of excel application scope and the right range of the workbook activity so that is all for this video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation